Good morning and welcome. It's Chilli Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with something that I hope is... Uh, it's going to be a very simple thing to do, but hopefully it's effective and that can be done on a large canvas. So I'm going to um, just go through it with you, something that I've been thinking about. I mean, I've done it, I have done it before, but um, I want to try it again. So I'm using the Amsterdam Carmine. Okay. Uh, this was from the online store, Capriol Shabby Chic. The um, info is in the drop-down box, the link. So I'm just putting a little bit of this Carmine into a small cup. And then I've got some... Australian flow troll that I've decanted into my um, container so I'm going to squeeze some of the Australian flow troll in with the red and um, I still get so many people ask me how I do this so it, it's kind of 50-50 um, 50% paint 50% flow troll at first and just see if you've got the consistency you would like so that's a nice creamy consistency. It's a little bit on the thick side, so it doesn't drop. Some particular pores, like when you're trying to do the bloom effect, needs the paint or seems to need the paint to be particularly thick. But I am doing a swipe with this, so I don't want it too thick at all. It's my little puppy coming again. She's going to sit right underneath my feet. No, Rosie, go sit over the other side. Should, no, it's far better right stuck to your feet, Mom. Okie doke. So that consistency, oh, still on the thick side. I could add a drop of water instead of the flow troll to thin it down. As, as I said, I want it to swipe. I want to swipe in red. I think that'll be okay. If not, I will change it. So I have already done the same with the lamp black from Amsterdam and flow troll that I've got in this container. So I've got it always on hand then if I keep it in the container. So this is going to be such a simple, simple, simple pimple thing and I hope that it works out. It will work out, surely it will. Rightio. First is just to coat my canvas in white and I will use my I've got to climb over my dog yes <laughs> you're not let me slide her out the way that's it slide there good girl good girl slide her out the way I'm just gonna so you can use this particular technique as well if you want to embellish like you want to keep something really simple on a large canvas and then you just want to embellish it a small amount with something this is a way that i've found is a good thing to do so just making sure there's plenty of paint on there just wipe it over nice and evenly with your palette knife or you can blow it out whatever you choose to but remember it's all a relaxation oh trying to get me cloth to wipe that it's all a relaxation time for you remember your art room your way your rules so no no other thing okie doke this is going to be so simple so i'm going to open the black open the black and just put oh that's a fair bit my swipe color there no other colors so it's really almost monochrome except that i wanted to try the red i was going to do it in just monochrome rightio and now let's see we need to get some yeah just a thinner thinner piece of my soft plastic file divide so let's see how this goes so so simple wow a million beautiful lacy legged cells so let me see if i can do the two of them together now i 
there. So simple, but this is just brilliant. It actually would be perfect for a lovely background for maybe a bloom in there. We might give that a try, we'll see. Experimenting, just nice and relaxed. Wow, well there you go. I might just bring you down to see this before I do anything any further. Or can I bring that up to see those cells? You see that a little bit? Cells are just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okie doke. We'll continue on. All I'm going to do is very, very simple because you know I love my balloon. So I'm going to, in those cells, oh my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me. They look absolutely gorgeous. I did have my bigger balloon. Let's try it with the bigger balloon in the red. Wow. Look at that too. It gives such a brilliant effect with a balloon, really. The simple old balloon gives such a gorgeous effect. I'm thinking that in this particular one, the small balloon is the most effective. How simple is that? Like, it's a really... Ooh. This balloon is leaking, it's leaking water. I've got water in this little one. I only put water in the tiny one, but it's leaking, so that's not good because it's diluting my paint, as you see. Very, very simple, simple pour. Simple, simple. Simple Simon says, ooh, look at that. So if you wanted to do complete monochrome in the black and white, yeah, that's that's leaking, that's not good. So I'm not gonna do any more with that, but I'm gonna bring you down and have a look at the detail in that. It is so pretty and delicate. It would be a perfect wallpaper, I reckon. Just one second. Just look at these gorgeous, gorgeous effects from something so absolutely simple. But look how gorgeous they are. So even if that was just monochrome, black and white, the effects are beautiful from just those simple paints mixed with Floetrol, swiped, you get all of that gorgeousness. That would be a really lovely wallpaper. Anybody out there? Gonna make me some wallpaper. I suppose there are companies that do do that, but I am absolutely loving the simpleness of that. Tell me what you think. Like, give that a go. I mean, that is really a simple thing. Anybody that hasn't done art and that does that for the first time would be, you know, that says, "Oh, I, I'm not an artist. I can't do anything." That would be such a um, morale booster because it's so pretty, but very delicate and very, very simple. So my lovelies, I really hope that you enjoyed this um, quick and simple, simple, simple. Uh, I just, I just love it. Isn't it strange? I'm, I'm usually like, you know, over the top color, but that is gorgeous. Okie doke, until tomorrow. Please take care of yourselves because nobody else will. So until tomorrow, bye for now.